I do have one of these reusable filters. You just knock it into your little container. When it gets filled, throw it in a hole in the ground. That simple. I happen to have a tumbler. I'll show you that right after this and give you some tips and tricks on how to compost. Every gardener should know that the best soil isn't bought, it's grown. Coming up. Try to bring this thing around. It's hard to see because it's black on black, but here's a little plus sign that you're supposed to add to. And then there's a little hour clock that you're supposed to have that thing wait. And this side, I got it switched. I don't really pay much attention. This side is ready to go. It's a bit more wet. We've had that rare meteorological event here in Southern California called rain lately. So my compost is a lot more wet than normal. And this one's beyond full. So what I need to do today is I need to remove that, mix it in with the soil around, and have this as my new additional compost where I add my table scraps. The basics are this. There are two main components to composting, greens and browns. Your greens, that's your cut waste, your table scraps, your coffee grounds, as you can imagine, anything quote unquote, wet. You got your browns. These are your leaves, your branches, your twigs, all your dry stuff. What you're really shooting for is an equal amount of browns and greens, wets and dries. If you're just starting out, don't fret on this too much. Everything will break down over time, either through a decomposition or putrefaction. So don't put your meats, dairies, or pet ways in your pile. Use your good judgment. Also, no oils, diseased plants, or pressure-treated wood. These things don't break down easy, and of course you don't want any disease put into your compost pile. Keep your ash separate. Ash is good for, or I should say wood ash is good for some plants, but not others. I'll do another video on this later on. In short, wood ash is the stuff you want to use. Charcoal briquettes, these things contain petroleum products you might not want it in your garden. Weeds and yard trimmings, I personally tend to avoid. Too, easily, uh, too easy to propagate weeds and grass throughout your garden. Hats off if you can catch anything before it goes to seed. Old plants from last season do work great and depending, you might get a few stragglers, freebies in your compost pile. In fact, I've had some of the best plants and growth from my compost pile and plants that I have saved. My biggest suggestion to you is keep it simple. You can take your fill container, just throw it in a hole in the ground, from time to time stir it around, in four, six, eight weeks you probably have some nice soil to spread around other parts of your garden. Tumblers are great if you have the space and you can work it into your routine. All in all, composting enriches the soil and reduces your need for chemical fil uh, fertilizers. You'll also decrease your eco footprint by not throwing away so much, and you'll get a good idea of what you actually do throw away and all the scraps and food that you do utilize. Hope this helps. Till next time, stay relaxed, keep on living. Here, dig, dig, dig. Yeah, that ain't going to